AMS Oil, the first in synthetics. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Skidoo, better rides, better riders. By Motor Fist, rugged by design. By Motorsports Plus, serving Minnesota and Wisconsin for more than 20 years. And by Articat, share our passion. All right, we are here. This is my favorite part of Snowshoot. It's the mountain segment evaluation. And we brought something from every manufacturer, actually two or three of everything, and boy, do we have the gamut covered fish. Hey, we're having a blast out here. We not only have the best sleds for the mountain, we have the best riders around. We got people in the industry that are the engineering, racers, riders, Mac, myself, our guests, Kelly and Paul. They're all just having a blast. What do you think, Kelly? You having fun out here? Absolutely. What's the best part? What are you liking? Getting stuck. <laughs> you and my friend Matt, yes. <laughs> I can attest to how much snow there's fish. I've been stuck quite a bit and it's up to here. I mean, there's tons of snow. A lot like a couple of years past. In the past, we've had little marginal conditions. This is awesome, isn't that, Paul? It, this is incredible. Deep snow, good test for the sleds. All right, there you have it. We're gonna go out and we're gonna tear this hill up. Check it out. With the newest technology and development going into mountain sleds, these machines are allowing riders to navigate terrain that was once impossible on a snowmobile. After riding all the mountain sleds, our riders chose one from every manufacturer. The Yamaha FX Nitro MTX 162. He had a stock Nitro MTX, and then we had a pumped up one. When I mean pumped up, it had a turbocharger on it. It's real easy to, to turn in and, and negotiate some pretty nasty corners and pretty nasty hills in the trees. I've never ridden a Yamaha before in my life, so I was impressed, you know, that, you know, you throw that turbo on it and it, it changes things. Next, the Articat F1100 Turbo HCR. That thing climbs. They put a new 2.6 inch track in it, which I thought, well, okay, they went a little bigger. Went from two and a quarter to 2.6. You know, what are we talking? Pretty minimal. But I tell you, it made a huge difference. That thing climbed. It pulled through the powder uh, way better than they did last year. They narrowed up the front end a couple inches, which made it side hill easier. As far as a point and shoot sled, pretty tough to beat that one. Next, the Polaris 800 Pro RMK 155. Down to 417 pounds, that is insanely light. I mean, it's beyond words. They have the 800 power plant that's legendary. I mean, they've, it, it's, it's truly a great engine. The clutching, everything is superb. It did everything I wanted it to do. The RMK was easier to handle. It was easier to maneuver and to turn. It had great power as well. They are cool. They added carbon fiber, they added a belt drive. It's probably the first thing you notice when you get on the RMK is the new running board. Because what they did is they opened it up. And what is kind of neat, if you do bend one, mar one up, it's totally replaceable off the side of the machine. The best in-class mountain snowmobile for 2013 is the Skidoo Summit SP-154. You've got the T-Motion in the uh, Summit, and that Summit with T-Motion is truly incredible. Remember, it tips, the suspension will tip left to right two degrees. The machine tips, track rolls, it side hills a lot, lot better than last year. The Summit SP with the T-Motion on it, it was a lot of fun. It was almost like it had too much tilt to it. it. I felt like, oh no, I don't want it to tilt right now, but it's tilting and it was just one of those kinds of deals. I like to be able to, I guess, being able to force it. You know, I want to turn now, so I'm going to force it to turn. And that one, I guess it's awesome that it turns just on demand. I mean, wherever you're leaning, it just starts turning for you. West Yellowstone, Montana was a perfect setting to ride and review the 2013 snowmobiles. You know, it just works out real well for what we want to do. Uh, lodging, restaurants, you name it, West Yellowstone has it. It was just phenomenal conditions for testing snowmobiles. I truly, truly want to thank all the OEMs because it's the chance and opportunity of a lifetime. For 2013, it is going to be fun. It's going to be exciting for the consumer. The best piece of advice that I could offer to anybody, man or woman, that wants to purchase a snowmobile is to go and test them out. My experience with Sledhead 24-7 was phenomenal. 
They don't treat you like a girl. They make you keep up with them, and it was a lot of fun.